Welcome to this Gantt Excel tutorial. Hi everyone. I will show you how to create a new project or Gantt chart in Gantt Excel. Click on the Add New Gantt Chart button. This will bring up the Add Project Details window. Type in the project name. You also have to enter the worksheet name. You can name it anything, like, for example, just Plan. Then enter the project lead. You can enter the project manager's name or the name of the person who will be responsible for the overall execution of the project. Select the base duration, days or hours. You can select days if you are setting the task duration in days or select hours if you are setting the task duration in hours. Gantt Excel also doubles up as an excellent budget and costs planner. So you can enable costs in your project if you want to track budget and task costs or turn it off altogether. For now, I'm going to leave this turned on. I'm going to enter the estimated budget, let's say for example, 250,000 US dollars and also enter the same in the baseline field as well. Click the OK button when done. As you can see, a new Gantt chart is instantly created and the Gantt menu in the Excel ribbon is now active. The Project Details section includes all the important details of the project, including the project name, project lead, and the financial components of the project. This is the workspace to add all tasks and milestones in your project. The section to the right is the Timeline section. The timeline will automatically update when you add tasks, change duration, or change the calendar views. By default, a new task has been created. The start date, which is also known as the estimated start date, is set to today's date. The default duration of the task is set to 10 days. The finish date, which is also known as the estimated end date, is automatically calculated based on the start date plus duration, while accounting for workdays and holidays. So that's it. Go ahead, add some tasks, and create a timeline that will impress your colleagues and clients. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or feature requests, please share them in the comments below. Kindly like and share this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.